Good day, Diocese of Olympia, and all those beyond who are watching this video. It's my great pleasure, honor, and blessing today to have with us the Reverend R.C. Laird, who's the vicar of St. Luke's Ballard, and also the program director of the SERVE program, S-E-R-V-E. R.C., tell us what SERVE is. The SERVE program is an acronym, the Seattle Episcopal Residential Vocational Experience. It's a member program of Episcopal Service Corps, which is a national group of programs like this. I think they number in the low 30s at this point. We've created a grassroots organization, which is an association of all these different programs, and the SERVE program is a part of that now. So uh, in this, our first year, the SERVE program is uh, a group of six young people who have moved to Seattle in the year after mostly in the year after they're, they've graduated from college, to live a year in solidarity with people who are living on the margins and to build uh, a community together based on the four pillars of our program, which are community, spirituality, social justice, and simple lifestyle. An impetus for this video was a very impactful presentation by the fellows at the 2013 convention. One of the things that inspired me most was that in the 45 seconds you gave them, it seemed to me you asked them to tell us who they are and how what they are wanting to do in the program connects with their faith. And the amazing thing is that I thought all of them did that so well. It was just very impressive mm -hmm. uh, to me and to all those in the room. I was very impressed that one of the fellows was recently at a justice workshop in the diocese and not everybody would say this is the greatest thing. What I love was that she was pushing back on our Episcopalianism a bit, who we are and how we tackle that subject. The challenge is a great gift to us. I don't know if she felt like it was that day, but I think it's marvelous to have them in our midst for that reason as well. They bring great skills, they bring tremendous ideas and creativity that can help us change and be better as well. Tell us a little bit about how SERVE is funded and how it has positive impact on the local church. Each of the fellows is at a placement and their placement is a place where they do work in the community. Each of those placements pays to be a part of the program. Uh, that The money that they pay doesn't completely uh, cover our budget and so we also solicit donations and partnerships with other churches and with individuals throughout the community and uh, and we've been blessed by uh, an enormous outpouring of support. What's the most efficient way for people to contribute to the SERV program if they want to do that? The most efficient way would be to send a check to either the SERV program or to St. Luke's with a memo for the SERV program. Uh, you can find us on the, on the web at stlukesseattle.org in addition to finding the SERV program at servprogram.org. Um, I'm willing to bet that if they sent a check here to Diocesan House that there are that it would find its way to us. The other way that people can help us is to uh, provide both prayer and remember us and, and to, to be engaged in, in terms of your congregation's life of prayer and think of us and invite us to come be a part of your community and to tell you about the program itself. One of the amazing things about programs like this is that after this year we send six people out into the world, some of whom will stay in the Episcopal Church, all of whom will be engaged in one way or another and will have been transformed by this experience and then we welcome six more in. Ten years from now we'll have dozens of people out there in the world that have been shaped and formed by this diocese. I've met with some of them individually. They are very faithful spiritual people and I think they will have a huge impact on our diocese and on the church in general. RC is the bishop of this diocese. I want to thank you. We're grateful for the work you're doing with this ministry and I'm really excited about its future. It was a, it was a pleasure. Thank you.